Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the Phoenix Industries Cargo Resupply System being made by forum user CTN, and this is a pretty cool little parts pack that adds into the game a selection of, uh, you know, capsules and cargo containers, etc., all designed around allowing you to build a cargo resupply system, and specifically one that's sort of styled after the SpaceX cargo resupply system. And to that end, it's not just a parts pack that adds in capsules or cargo containers, it's actually specifically intended to be integrated with the Kerbal inventory system as well as MechJeb, and that's why I like it, because again, it's styled after the SpaceX program, and so it is a robotic drone that you want to send up in a robotic manner, thus MechJeb, and it's a cargo resupply drone, not just the typical fuel or monopropellant that we usually send up to space stations, it is actually intended to send up inventory items, thus the Kerbal inventory system integration. So let's jump right on in to the VAB to take a look at all these parts and what it does add in. And to start, we will grab the Phoenix CRS capsule, which comes in two beautiful varieties of either the 1.25 meter version or a 2.5 meter version, and these are gorgeous. Very good looking models, very good looking texturing, and even though it is modeled after the SpaceX style, it does also look kind of stock alike, not quite stock alike, but close enough that it fits in with the game very nicely. And I just love the uh, Phoenix logo here, very nice indeed. Modeling is very nice. I would like to see perhaps a bit more depth, especially for these little engine ports here. Uh, but other than that, very nicely done. I do enjoy it quite a bit. And of course, it is a robotic drone, so there is no Kerbals to be put inside of this. And it comes with all the typical electrical charge, SAS, uh, monopropellant. It does have its own built-in RCS system. But most importantly, in my opinion, is besides just RCS, you can also use the monopropellant in this capsule to actually power a monopropellant engine, which, as you can see here, does have a atmospheric thrust of 24, vacuum of 50, ISP of 120, atmosphere 250 vacuum, and it uses quite a lot of monopropellant per second at 5.099. So you aren't going to get much bang for your buck, but it's a nice little addition just to give you that extra little oomph that you may need to get where you need to go, or perhaps land safely if you're coming in pretty quick. Now, of course, as you can see, whoop, I accidentally clicked off. I always do that. And as you can see here, it is a mech jeb core, so you don't have to attach to the ship one of these little mech jeb two pieces. You can just use your mech jeb system with the capsule itself. And finally, once again, Kerbal inventory integration. So we do have individual inventories for these capsules, with the smaller 1.25 capsule having a 3,800 volume, and the larger 2.5 meter capsule having a volume of 6,900. I would have liked to also see more individual slots in here rather than just an increased volume, but nonetheless, it's, it's pretty cool to have this integrated in with the capsule, which also makes sense, because again, it's a robotic capsule, so there's these are pretty big for robotic capsules, considering that's what we typically get, so the addition of especially the 2.5 meter, that's a lot of extra space you could use for things, which is quite cool, so let's just close these and head on down to utility next, as this is where the bulk of the parts for this mod live, and we'll start with the trunks. Now, as I said, these have their own built-in inventory, but what if you need additional parts taken up to your space station as well? Well, that is where these trunk extensions come in, and again, they come in 2.5 meter, or 1.25 meter varieties, and once more, they have their own built-in inventory. The large 2.5 meter one having a volume of 9,700, the smaller 1.25 having a volume of 4,800. Very cool, again, nicely modeled, really nicely textured. I love that Phoenix on there, that is just gorgeous. So very, very cool, very well done part. 
And as you can see here, it also does have electrical charge and mono propellant, so additional fuel for the main capsule. And you also may notice it has the force percent here because this is a decoupler. You can see down here we have two decouplers on our staging. So it is a built-in decoupler to separate the cargo trunk extension from the capsule itself. So quite cool if you need to lighten the load when you're coming back into the atmosphere. Very nice. I like that addition indeed. Now the next bits that we have in here are for solar panels, and we have them in two varieties. Now the first one is the Phoenix 1. X 3.5 photovoltaic panels and these babies oh god there we go put it there extend out like any solar panel uh, the texturing on them not that great in here but when they are extended which I'll show you on the launch pad here in a moment they do look much nicer but yeah that uh wiring pattern is a little bit lackluster. Hopefully that does improve in the future. And this comes in 2.5 meter varieties and 1.25 meter varieties there. So depending on the size capsule you're sending up, you can have the solar panels to match. And then we also have them in shrouded. So these are of course the unshrouded. We then have shrouded varieties, which Right away, I have to point out a problem with this mod, which is a known problem that the mod maker is trying to fix. Here in the VAB, you cannot see the shrouding. So it looks like the normal panels, which is kind of annoying, but again, it is something that is known to be messed up in the mod. It is being worked on, uh, but yeah, without the shrouding, it's kind of hard to see exactly where you want to put it, because you'll notice when we do get out to the launch pad, the shrouding, like if I do have it here, the shrouding will probably be up and above this lip a little bit. So if you're trying to go for styling, uh, it's kind of annoying not to have it, but once more, it is something that is being worked on. Hopefully that will be fixed soon. Now there is also another problem with these shrouded solar panels. You can jettison by when you're in flight you can jettison these by right clicking hit jettison to drop your solar panels the shrouded ones they might get stuck the shroud seems to stop them from being jettisoned they actually do get jettisoned technically but it doesn't seem to take so you may have to do it a second time which is weird it's again something just with these shrouded solar panels but certainly a thing to keep in mind. And well, that is everything from utility. So the last part we have is an aerodynamics and it is its own custom heat shields. We got the Phoenix Pika X heat shield once more in 1.25 and 2.5 meter varieties. And again, beautiful texturing. The modeling is essentially exactly the same as the stock heat shields. Oh, but I just love the coloring of this. Fits in very nicely with the whole design of these Phoenix capsules. Very gorgeous look, very cool indeed. And a note on these is that eventually the mod maker wants to move the decoupler from the trunk to the heat shield. Right now there's no decoupler on these heat shields and apparently he does want to add it to that. So the decoupler module will be on this rather than the trunk. Personally, I'd like to see the decoupler on both rather than just one or the other. So, eh, you know, maybe maybe that might happen in the future. Who knows? But let's head out to the uh, launch pad real quick. And I'm actually going to load a slightly nicer looking capsule that I made earlier. And let's take this baby out to the launch pad to see how it all looks and also have a gander at that engine I told you about that is on the capsule. So let's just wait for this to actually load. There we are. We have a lovely 2.5 meter variety Phoenix capsule, a little wobbly because of the rounded heat shield. And here is the shroud I was mentioning on the solar panel there. And like I told you, the shroud goes up and over the lip there. So these two solar panels are at roughly the same spot. So if you didn't want that sort of a bit of the shroud going over the lip, you'd want to lower this down quite a bit more. But as for the look and feel of them, oh god, yeah, I always forget. If I right click while I turn off the UI, it doesn't do a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so very nice, a pretty typical solar panel animation. I love the look of these, uh, much better than the underside. Oh, can't really look at the underside. Uh, that just has that weird sort of low res wiring look to it. Uh, the actual solar panel end is much, much nicer looking. So let's extend the shroud one. And again, 
Another problem for me with the shroud, the shroud doesn't seem to open. It just literally unfolds itself through the shroud, which is a little weird. Uh, so personally, when I've been using this so far when playing around, I've just been using the unshrouded version. Is it uh, Just overall, it seems to be much nicer to me. Hopefully, the shrouded one will end up being much nicer down the road, but for the time being, it's a little lackluster. Uh, but still, a very nice looking design to it. I love the solar panel looks. The texturing modeling on the Phoenix capsule, very nice. And... Of course, again, we do have our inventories that we can use. I forgot to do staging. Let's actually do this real quick. And uh, we'll add one more for the parachute. There we go. And we will start up the engine that we have on here. And you'll notice it's using the monopropellant and creating thrust through these two ports here. Now, if we throttle down and turn on our RCS, you will also notice we do have RCS coming out through all four of these thruster areas which is quite interesting. I wish that the engine actually came out through all four as well. Yeah, that would make sense to me because it appears, let's actually turn this back on. Yes, yes, that is actually confirmed there. If you'll notice, the RCS comes out of these two elongated ones. And of course these circles, if you are sort of trying to rotate yourself. And the actual engine comes out of these large holes. So I don't know why the choice was to only have the large holes here and here. We don't actually have those on the texturing here and here. I wish that they were. It, it would make sense to me. But oh well, nonetheless, it is pretty cool having this uh, little thruster engine. Again, powered by motto propellant that we can pull from this trunk extension down here. Uh, but of course, we can also decoupler this thing and fly away. It's actually surprisingly powerful for... Oh, oh that exploded. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly powerful for this capsule. Oh, let's do our parachute there. But yeah, overall, a very cool system. I can definitely see myself using this for supply runs up to space stations and to take to them various Kerbal inventory bits and bobs for them to use on future missions. A very cool overall, beautiful looking, very well done. My only issues really are with those shrouded solar panels. But again, those are known bugs and issues that they are trying to fix. Hopefully, hopefully in a timely manner, we will have to see. But yes, if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can go to the link in the description as always. And I do hope you, that you do take a look at it. It is a glorious little mod. And of course, I do hope you have enjoyed this video today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.